go and see the world and just show them what it really means to live like golden. Yeah, we're golden. What's going on everybody, Sophisticated here, your resident title trickster, bringing you the latest and greatest Fizz content there is to offer. If you enjoy what we do on the channel, remember to show your support by subscribing, smashing that like button, and leave a comment to let me know what you think. Without further ado, let's get right into today's gameplay. What's going on guys, Sophisticated here bringing you another Fizz gameplay video. Today we're in the mid lane and we're up against what I think is actually a Blitzcrank, and I, cause they, uh, they don't have an actual mid laner. And this guy banned Cassidy, so I think it is going to be Blitz mid. He took Flash Ignite, is running Electrocute and Inspiration secondary. Um, I don't think it would be too bad against us, because Blitz has some weird interactions with Fizz's E, where he can still knock you up even if he uh, even if you E into his face. So it's kind of weird. But we should be good. Uh, levels 1 through 3. I can just take my W here, and it should be pretty easy to farm against this guy, because he has melee at the end of the day, right? So he's got to get all up on to us to be able to do anything. Should be a pretty easy farm lane for us here. If he goes for this one, I'm going to look to W him here. And then i got to get out of the way of a potential hook here. Because I don't want to get pulled into all of his minions. Nice. We're going to get level 2 way before this guy. We'll take our E here just in case if uh, we do get ganked early. Let's see. And if not, we're getting pretty easy farm lane here. Nice. Only missed one out of the whole first wave. What I want to do is come get a ward over here so we can see if their jungle pass up through this way to get this scuttle. Nice. Looks like we got first blood down bot lane. That's good. And we're just chilling here. We'll just farm up. Try not to get hooked by this guy under the tower. And we should be good. I probably won't look to fight this guy much. I'll just look to make plays up either top or around my jungle here. Got a nice little Q Auto W trade onto him. Let's see, let's make sure we get this cannon here. Nice. We really haven't missed much farm at all either. I'm not sure where their jungle is. So I gotta be a bit careful. Okay, there he is. Um, I don't think I can fight that guy. Even with uh Echo, so. I'm just gonna chill here. Hit him with the W right there. He doesn't have a huge minion wave, so not really worried about him doing anything here. I got my Echo down here, too. And in order for him to get any of these CS, he has to step up pretty far. So that's good for us. I'll look for an auto W onto him right there. Maybe Q him. E him right here. I'm gonna hit him with the uh, Ignite here. Hit him with uh, one more auto, maybe? Close. If he stays, I can definitely look to kill. See, he does have Ignite, so he, he can't TP back to this wave. Nice. He's going to miss a lot there. 13 to 12. Or to 13, rather. I'm just going to look to get these uh, CS because the towers have a bunch of extra armor pre-five minutes. So, it just be better for me to here clear this wave and get a reset in. Nice. Not too bad. Didn't want to take that tower shot, but we're pretty healthy. Alright, we should have a pretty big XP and uh, gold lead on this guy. Looks like Lee's putting some work in. I think this Lee Sin is Diamond 2. So he's going to put a lot of pressure on us. Alright, let's see here. Let's go ahead and back, grab a Dark Seal, a pair of boots, a Control Ward, and a Sweeper. Be a pretty good buy here for us. Yeah, it looks like he's going full AP Blitz. He did get this and some more pots. So overall, I think we are going to be a lot stronger in a, uh, than him in a 1v1. Looks like Gangplank is having a little bit of a rough lane up there. Mainly because th I think this guy's been up there a couple times. But it looks like our bot's doing pretty well. Pretty even game. Echo will really turn online once he gets his ult. Until then, he's kind of just going to get bullied by the Lee Sin. So, Alright, so we're just going to look to farm here. He has a huge wave, so I don't really want to look to do too much against him in terms of trading. Plus, I don't know where Lee Sin is. I'm just going to come over here and place my control ward right there. Get a little vision control of the dragon. Like around that area. Alright, we can freeze this wave out right outside of the tower. And actually have it in a really good spot right here. Now he's kind of screwed. There's the Lee. We do see him. 
But this Blitz is really screwed right here. He has to step super far up just to be able to do anything. The only thing I, th I was about to say, the only thing he can do is hook the minions, honestly. But he just screwed himself out of a uh, cannon minion because now he's not going to get the cannon minion. And we're just starving him of XP here. He is Mia. All right, we still have a, uh, a freeze here. You only need four minions, and we have five. And one of them happens to be a cannon minion, so we have more than we need. Try to trim it down just a little bit. All he can really do is look for uh, hooks onto the minions to last hit him. I'm thinking I'm going to go bot lane here. I'm going to try and roam down here if I can. Uh, they're pretty healthy. Not sure how healthy Lee Sin was, though. Let's look for a little play on the Lee, huh? All right, he's probably at his crux. Just look for a Q auto W. Nice. We could probably look for these guys, too. Look for a fish onto this guy. I don't get the fish. I can get some decent damage here. Flash for the E. Splash. Nice. We didn't um, come out un unkilled, but we got a lot there. I messed up my fish onto the, the one guy. I think we can make this happen. He gets a slow on him. Q auto W him. Nice. Got the electrocute proc. Sweet. Really good by us. Let's see if we can't come grab this dragon as a team here. Give the team props. I messed up my fish. If we would have got the fish on the bar, it would have been a lot easier to finish that kill. But Blitzcranks gets to push in, gets level 6. But I think our roam was definitely, or uh, basically roaming around was really worth it for us. Lee Sin could come. I'll just take this out right here. We have Tristana. We have pressure here too. If Lee Sin jumps over, yeah, we can just drag it out. We're kind of re resetting it, though. That was dumb. Now we can't take this. Now we can't take this. Yeah, I think we should have just bursted it down there. We could have bursted it, and even if this guy jumped over, we could have killed him. Because we're ahead right now. And we had pressure. But that's fine. That's fine. Not a huge deal. Let's go ahead and grab a couple items. Let's grab another control war, because we, we got a slot and we got cash. So like I always say, if you got a slot and you got cash, go ahead and grab yourself a control ward. For when this one inevitably will get taken out at some point, right? Alright, let's uh, ping that this guy is Mia. We're still out farming him too, even despite Roman. So that's real good. Looks like our Gangplank's having a rough time, but he'll scale up really good. Not really worried about him losing his lane. Alright, let's just... Uh, I'm thinking about just pushing this and looking bot again, honestly. Because I don't want to go top. If I roam top, that guy will just ult us, right? And just kill us. So, no point in really even going up there. So, I'm just going to look to make a play bot and get this Tristana even farther ahead. Alright, let's see. I want to look down here. I'm going to come straight down here. Looks like they saw me back and or leaving the lane and immediately walked away. It's all good, though. They have no vision throughout there. So, they're just backing off due to his pings. Kind of feel like Lee Sin's in the area since he just ran at me like that. Nice. I eat the tower shot, so I didn't take that much damage. I might have to mute this gangplank because he's pinging pretty relentlessly. I'm a little worried about uh, where Lee Sin is because we haven't seen him in a, in a hot minute. And this Blitz Crank knows how strong I am, so and he's stepping up kind of wildly. All right, let's just look for the E here. Clear this wave out. Might, maybe even be able to get some plates here. Because we did chunk it a little bit. Okay, he roamed. Let's see. Let's just get the plate here and then probably look bot. Nice. They actually got a kill up there. All right, I'm going to come bot and try to make a play here. Looks like Bard is still alive, so I might be able to kill him. Yeah, I got Bard. He greeted... I don't even have to ult this guy. Actually, I might have to ult him here. Let's see. We should be able to... Uh, I might not be able to get him because of that portal. Let's see if I can't do something here. He's pretty fast. I don't think we're going to get him. Yeah, that was a good portal by him. Alright, let me just hop on my E here. I'm just trying to farm this out. 
Wow, we got a lot of that wave there. I think we could take the dragon here. We're super strong. Our bot lane's pretty pretty strong. Uh, we could kill this guy pretty much at any point too. I'm thinking I should have just saved my ult and went on him, because he has no uh, no like resistances, right? That guy's got to be careful. That uh, that Mordekaiser. I don't have my ult, so I really don't want to fight. I'm just going to get a reset in, get my proto belt, and be really strong. Just going to ping it to my team, let them know that I got it. And then we'll go ahead and grab that. And then let's start building it. Actually, let's get a pair of boots. Just going to get full mana here. Nice. Bot lane's going in. A lot of action in this bot lane. All right. Yeah, I, I'm definitely going to just look to kill this guy. Let's see, all he has is a little bit of extra health. I think I've just been, I'm just been a little worried about this guy, their jungler coming in and killing me. See, I do want to just corral this all up, proto belt it, because this guy, I don't want him to leave the lane. I'm going to come over here. He hopped over. I'm down with this. Let's fight this. He's going to have to hop over to one of his buddies. Nice. Lee Sin actually hopped over here to me. I'm just going to ignite this guy because I don't want him to get away. Nice. Got the double there. I fished the the blitz because I knew that Lee Sin was eventually going to want to hop over to his teammates. So it actually worked out perfectly. Lee Sin hopped over, got hit by the fish. We could probably look to dive this guy. I'm, gonna try, I'm trying to get his, um, his E right there. We don't have a wave, so I got to play a little back here. All right, that's good, though. We got a lot there. I'm waiting to see if he places a ward, the bard, or just steps up to come over here. Just going to take that out. I'm fine with taking that stun there. I'm going to get a reset in this bush because I just took out their vision, so now they really d can't feel super safe here. Nice. Really good series of events here. Let's go ahead and grab the boots. Well, actually, what I want to do is I want to try out Lucidity boots. I've been seeing... Um, I watched Apto play a little bit, and then I've been watching this other Korean guy too. So I want to see how how these boots do. And then I'm gonna grab an Aether Whisk because I can one shot it. Let's see, bot lane going in, nice. And maybe a double, it should be a double. Trisana's got him. Nautilus might die, but it's definitely worth, even if he does. All right, Nautilus does go down. So we're sitting at what, like 20% CDR right now? Pretty nice. And we don't even have our Sheen yet. Alright, we're going, doing pretty good. Got about a 20, almost a 30 CS lead on this guy. He did get a nice juicy roam on his top. Was able to do some stuff there, but he really hasn't done much else all game. Alright, Lee Sin's top. So we're just going to chill. Probably push this wave in and look to keep making plays bot lane. Because Lee Sin and <clears throat> Mordekaiser own the top lane. So I'm just going to farm this up and probably look to keep making plays bot. Or on this Echo. I can make plays on Echo. Um, I'm just going to sit right here. Alright, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mute this guy's pings and his chat. Because he is just non-stop pinging. Alright, let's clear this farm up here. And then I'm thinking about just roaming bot. <clears throat> trying to make a play here. I'm sure this Blitzkrank has already pinged them and let them know I'm coming. I'm just going to hop over. Got a Corrupting Pot ticking as well right now. I think this guy might be toast. Hit him with the fish, even though he flashed. Now that's a feels bad man for him. The old prediction fish, boys. Nice. Got his flash. That's really good. I'm just going to push this. I really don't mind that she's going to spam ping me. We can get this tower here. Nice. Got his ult too. We should still get this tower too. Even through that. That was pretty spicy of him. What he just did there. 
Hit him with the ignite. No auto him. Nice. Sweet. We're getting a lot of kills here. And we got that tower too. Really big. We got Ezreal's flash as well on top of all that. Looks like Lee's popping off really hard though. That's all good though. Lee Sin falls off late game. So not a huge threat. All right. We'll get a reset in here. Almost able to freaking one shot this. All right. Let's grab the Sheen. We're at 30% CDR now. Looking pretty good. All right, let's go. Let's run it down. Probably run it down to the bot lane, honestly. Because I want to get myself into the side lane. I got 120 farm almost. Six kills. Looking real good. Ten stack magis. I don't think that these guys can 2v1 me at all. Especially not with him going um, the Moby boots. They have no defense against me. So I'm just going to swap lanes with Triss and let her uh, run it down. <laughs> just 12 an hour. All right, let's see. I'm going to walk into this bush because if Ezreal keeps farming or trying to farm this, I might be able to cheese him here. He's going to have to step up pretty far. Because, look, our ult's right there, so he's going to have to be pretty far over here for me to actually hit him. Let's just see if he keeps pushing. He may keep pushing. He very well may, because this is a nice wave right here. All right, he's not going to. It's all good. We'll catch this huge wave here, and then probably just keep pushing bot, honestly. Soak up a bunch of XP. Plus, I want to be around where the dragon is. I'm going to come over here, actually. Ooh. The team is just getting pulled every which way. I'm coming over here, though. If we can survive... Looking for a fish on one of them. Gonna get an E on this uh, Lee because he took a tower shot. All right, we stopped him from doing anything against our teammates, so that's good. All right, once I get Lich Bane, I'll be able to put in some real work. I think I could have killed the Bard had I had Ignite, and I would have full committed onto him there. Yeah, I'm here. I'm going to go for a double E onto this guy and Q through him. He's got Conquer, though, so he beats me here for sure. Oh, not unless Echo. Ah, I thought Echo was going to get him there. That's real bad because I did give a shutdown over there, too. I just thought we would be able to burst the, uh, the Lee Sin. It's like our homeboy up here is having a really bad time. All right, let's start working towards our... Zonya's not too bad. I think that's the first dragon we gave him. So it, it is a cloud. A cloud would have been real nice for us, but what can you do? That Lee Sin is really strong. I think we're still in good shape here, though. All right, let's uh, run it down the mid. We should be able to one-shot this Blitzcrank now that we got our Lich Bane. We still have a really strong bot lane. I think this guy needs to pick up a little bit of MR, though. I can't really fight this guy because Bard could just ult him if I all end him there. It'd be a waste of my ult. All right, I think I'm going to shove out this wave and then maybe look to just take... Yeah, actually, we can fight this. Eh, he's already too far gone. This bard's pretty good with his tunnels and stuff, so I don't really want to do anything crazy. Just uh, push the wave here. Take this tower. We should be able to take this tower. We got Tristana, me here with the Sheen, or a, Lich, a whole Lich Bane, and then we can come top. I'm going to wait for Nautilus to get right here before I... Actually, I was going to wait, but... Since Lee is right there, I'm just going to... I want to make a play on this guy. Nice. I got a lot of damage on him. I got my slow on this guy, too. It's a lot of damage from these guys. Look for a kill on this guy. Got a lot of damage on him. Queuing him. All right, nice. Oh, the Lee Sin got us. I was spamming my E. I think they got to turn back onto this Lee. All right, we got pretty much everyone there. I misplayed. I should have, shouldn't have ran up here, but I had to get away from the Ezreal. But we got a lot of people there, and we killed the Mordekaiser, so that's probably gonna make the, 
the uh, Gangplank feel pretty good. He got a lot of stuff there, too, The Gangplank did. Probably goes down here to this. Definitely goes down to this, but he got a lot of, a lot of action there. All right, once we get our Zhonyas, we're going to be looking real good. Not too bad here. Got a lot of farm here. We're almost the most farmed in the game next to this Mordekaiser. All right, let's see. They do have a bunch of healing, so I do, I'm do. i going to definitely want to grab a uh, grab a Morellos after this, after the Zhonyas. And I think I'm just going to head bot here. Because I don't want to just run it down mid. I do not think I can fight this Mordekaiser 1v1 at all. We just happen to get lucky. I hit him with a full a fish, Q auto W, and Ignite, and we basically bursted him down as a team. I can E like this and just wait out his ult. And then when after his ult's down, he's kind of screwed here. Don't give him the passive. Hop on my E and then just work him down. Just a patience thing. All right, and you can E his ult too. The actual like ult, the casting of his ult. But I just figured I'd let him ult me and then fight him with my team afterwards. I think we should fight this. Oh, come on, boys. We got a Gangplank R. Let's say he should R that. QW and really anyone. Then W and again. I'm going to double E here. Proto Belt forward. Nice. And then QW him. Nice. Magic get a triple there, boys. We could probably just run it down, actually. We don't need to take Baron because we don't have a jungler, but we can do a lot of damage to these structures. Nice. Really good. Give my uh, team some props here. Really well played by them. I think we can go. I have all. I have all here. Look for a fish on him. He doesn't have his ult. His ult's way longer of a cooldown than mine. I am tanking here though. All right, I got a bail. We can't fight. I don't have any mana. I'm just gonna let them know that I have to run. They can stay if they want, but I gotta get it reset in. Nice. Get the kill on the Mordekaiser. We have four people there, and I know under, even under tower with my alt and ignite that I'd have the brunt of the damage to do that there. So let's go ahead and get a reset, grab our Zarnias, and then our next item will be working into our Morellos. Trying to type and see if my team, see if we can five man this dragon, because that's going to be a good dragon. Because if we can get a Mountain Soul, it's super, super good. A big old shield for everyone on the team. Lee's definitely going to be coming to this. Let's see if I can't catch him slipping. Ooh. Nailed me there. Look for a fish under the Lee. I got Zhonya's here. With, the, with this guy, we could potentially... I'm not sure why this guy isn't helping me there. Nice. He did help me. We should be able to get this. They have three people dead here. Just get this, buddy. Stop trying to hit the ward. Nice. We managed to get three of them there. That's huge. I'm just going to E and uh, come down here. Yeah, I was expecting this Echo to help me a lot sooner because he could have hopped over here. But everything worked out pretty nicely. That Lee Sin is super strong. It was a very close fight. Good thing I'm so far ahead. He was super far ahead, too. He was 9-3 and three there. All right, so let's just pressure up here. Nautilus probably has some stacks, so I'll just let him stack up here. Or maybe he doesn't have stacks and he just wants XP. All right, I'm just going to get a reset in. Pretty good for us there. That was a big, big fight. Happened to get the dragon. Happened to shut this guy down and get a bunch of kills for the tr on the Triss, too. Um, let's see. I don't want to... I might just buy a Magi's here. And then if I lose my stacks, that's when I'll buy a Morello's. Alright, I'm just going to come top here. Just going to tell them I'm going to pressure top. Hopefully they don't look for, like, a super hard engage. I'm really strong, so... If we do want to look for team fights, it'd probably be best for me to be around. So let's just try and hard shove this out. Maybe try to look to get some pressure on this top lane tower. Open up the map a little bit more. The only thing I am worried about is I don't see anyone on their team. So I might just... Ah, there's Lee Sin. Yeah, I should be able to push this. 
No problem. Maybe not now. Actually, I should be able to take this before they even get here. If they do decide to come. Alright, hopefully my team doesn't lose that fight. They are choosing to engage on the enemy. I'm just going to keep on pushing though. Because I have Lich Bane. And I'm super strong. So any time that the enemy can leave me here is really bad for them. Nice. Watch this damage here. We're going to shred this. We have tri or alacrity stacks too. So we have extra attack speed. This is a full health tier 2 here, boys. Fizz has some serious split push potential. Let's see if we can't catch him slipping here. Look for a fish on him. We just barely miss him. Oh, no, we didn't. I kind of want him to take that. Got him. He burns out there. Maybe. Ooh, maybe not. But we should get this tower. His shield saved him. Should get the tower and inhib here. And I'm just going to come up here. Should be able to get this in, uh, tower and inhib as well. Didn't get the kill on the lead, but it provides us a lot of pressure. We should get this Lee Sin right here. Nice. W'd him. I might have to just bail out here, though. Q him. Auto him. Oh, there's the surrender. All right, boys. There it is. Fizz mid versus a pretty unique Blitzcrank pick. But yeah, we'll take you to the after action after this, boys. All right, guys. This is the after action for the game we just played against that Blitzcrank mid. So starting from me, obviously, you can see this is different from our um, our normal after actions. Usually, OP, I do the after action on OP.GG, so you can see everyone's rank. But OP.GG, for some reason, isn't refreshing on NA, OP.GG NA. So I can't get to show you like exactly what their elos are. But I remember looking what their elos are, so I can remember off of the top of my head. Um, so starting from me, I'm sitting at gold. We had two platinums on our team, and I'm pretty sure it was these two guys. And then we had another gold, and I think that was our ADC. And then this guy was unranked, like level 176. The blitz we were going up against in lane was platinum. I think he was platinum three. They had a Diamond 2 uh, Lee Sin, and then they had another Platinum, I think was the Ezreal, and then two Gold players. So overall, pretty really close game. The only, I would say, the only player that was, you know I mean, out of the ordinary was this Diamond 2 Lee Sin. Everyone else around a Platinum level, uh, with the exception of a couple Golds being me and the Tristana and these two. But overall, the game was really, really good. Um, we had a very, very strong early game against the Blitz. We just farmed up really heavily and just perma roam bot i mean we were just bots over and over and over and then um yeah we just got so strong we tried out the lucidity boots which was really cool um like i said i, I see apto going that and then the, the another person that someone linked on the subreddit about this this korean fizz and i've been watching him too and he seems to really like lucidity boots to basically give you that 40 percent cdr really really early but yeah it felt really good we did the most damage in the game at 20k the next closest was GP and Lee Sin. And yeah, this Lee Sin had a really good game for himself. Uh, his Elo definitely showed. I mean, he was basically making, you know I mean, as many moves as he could possible. You know I mean, he recognized that our bot lane was basically beating their bot lane and that I was roaming over and over. So he just played top. I'm pretty sure he tilted our gangplank pretty heavily to the point where I had to eventually mute the gangplank's pings and, uh, and chat because he was just complaining so much about, you know what I mean, receiving all the attention and it, I, I can't blame him too much because it does feel bad whenever you are getting camped like that and uh you're just getting beat up right it just is a real feels bad situation but you got to keep in your mind if your team is winning literally everywhere else on the map and you're the only lane losing just kind of bite the bit the bullet on it and you mean just try to scale up just keep the end game in mind but yeah guys if you enjoyed the video drop a like if you haven't yet sub to the channel really does help and we'd love to have you here if you want to see anything in the future in specific let me know in the comment section below. All right, hope to see you guys on the next video.